All right, we're reading the story, What Joe Did. It's on page 146 and 147 in your reading textbook. 146, 147 in your reading textbook. So please follow along as I read. So I'm now, uh, it says, what, uh, what can Joe do that others cannot? So turn to page 148. So we're just starting on 148. I won't hold it up the whole time, but we'll kind of try to do a little bit here. It says, Little Joanna Marie loved to play basketball. She especially loved the sound it made as it fell through the net. She would practice every day, touching the backboard as often as she could. Since Joanna's parents had no idea how high a basketball rim should be, they hung it on the side of the roof, which, which was a whopping 16 feet high. Joanna saw rims on TV and figured they looked about the same sight as her own. She had no idea they were only 10 feet high. Joanna also uh, didn't realize that most people couldn't jump up and touch the backboard because she had never played with anyone else. But her parents marveled at how high she jumped and how she could run up to the backboard with the ball and lay it up and in. Her father was especially proud because he couldn't even touch the bottom of the net not even with the help of a broom. One day, so now we're on the top of 149, one day, um, a Joanna, her hair bundled up under a, uh, her baseball cap, was dribbling her basketball on the way to the store to get some sugar for her mother. Her mother said she didn't have to hurry home as long as she was in by dark. As Joanna moved down the street, a basketball came rolling out of nowhere and bumped her high tops. I'm sorry, man. I didn't mean to hit you with the ball like that, said a young boy dressed in sneakers, shorts, a bull's tank top as he picked up the ball. Oh, that's okay. I wasn't even paying attention, Joanna said. Hey, we need one more to play a game. You in? He asked her. Sure. Why not? She responded. As Joanna approached the other boys, she remembered that she had her hat on. They probably think I'm a boy, she thought. Might as well enjoy the ride. The boys picked teams, and since Joanna was smaller than everyone else, she got picked last. It didn't bother her, though, because she had never played with anyone before and was just happy to be there. Hey, kid, what's your name? asked the freckled-faced kid with red hair. Uh, Joe. My name's Joe, Joanna said nervously. All right, Joe, you pick up TJ over there. See, make sure he doesn't score a basket. Uh, he can jump pretty high, you know. So now I'm turning the page. So, so far she has, she was walking home from the store and she got invited to this game of basketball. The boys do not know she's a girl. So we're on page 150. Uh, Joe moved around the net, uh, moved around, not really touching the ball at first, just trying to get a feel for playing with other people. She had not even passed the ball or received a pass herself. Playing with others took getting used to, but in no time she was passing the ball. The only thing that puzzled her was why the hoop was so low. Even though the boys passed the ball around a lot, TJ really didn't t uh, touch it much. And when he did, he didn't take a shot. Finally, he was wide open for a shot when Joe came out of nowhere, jumped high into the air, and swatted his shot into the next court. Wow! And I'm on now 151. Wow! Did you see that? Did you see how high he jumped? The freckled-faced kid said, his mouth wide open. I've never seen anybody jump that high. Not even Michael Jordan, said the kid with the Bulls jersey on. Unbelievable. Where did you learn to do that? Oh my goodness. Uh, poor TJ. Hey, I got fouled. And besides, it wasn't that high, said TJ. But his fed with, face was so red he couldn't hide his embarrassment. Uh-huh. It's just uh, something I picked up. I practice a lot with my dad, Joe added. Surprised how big a deal the boys made of her block. Man, you must have some dad, one of the boys said. The game continued, and Joe uh, was passed the ball more often. Her teammates encouraged her to shoot more, and when she did, they were amazed at how the ball arched through the air uh, like, uh, like on a rainbow falling straight through the hoop without touching the rim. As the game progressed, Joe felt hot, but she knew she couldn't take her hat off or else she'd be found out. Whenever a boy got, got, uh, got, got the ball and Joe came over to play defense, he quickly passed the ball away. Joe blocked a few more shots, which created more oohs and ahs. And one of the boys in her team asked her if she could dunk the ball. Dunk? What's that? Joe asked. And th this was a word she had never heard before. 
So we're at the end of 151. A dunk, uh, uh, you know, slam, a jam, and you, to throw it, throw it down, you jump up and put the ball in the rim while holding on to it. Oh, that, she said, trying to hide the fact she'd never heard it before. See what you do. You dribble the ball, jump up, and put the ball in the rim with your hand. So the kid with the Lakers jersey on, trying to demonstrate on the ground as best as he could. You guys, can we finish this game? It's getting dark and my mom wants me home soon, TJ said, still upset that was Joe was getting all the attention and that his shot was blocked. Hold your horses, TJ, said the freckled phrase kid. I want to see Joe dunk. I bet that he can dunk better than Michael can. We'll give it, well, I'll give it a shot, said Joe, curious herself to see, uh, see if she could dunk. She started at half court, dribbling the ball quickly and headed straight for the rim. As she approached, she remembered how high her basket was and realized that this one was much lower. Maybe she could jump a little farther, uh, farther out and dunk the ball through. As she got to the free throw line, she lifted her leg up and went flying into the air till she was so high she was looking down in the hoop. Now all she had to do was put the ball in the rim with both hands. And now we're on 153. She was up there for a while um, before she felt her hands on the rim the ball going through, her feet touching the ground. When she landed, all the boys' mouths were hanging open, and for a moment they were speechless. Um, 154. Then, no way, it can't be. Am I seeing it right? That's impossible. How did she? Uh, as, uh, as the boys stared at her, Joe looked down on the ground and saw her hat was lying there. She froze. Around 155. So... Like, you're a girl, said the kid with the Lakers jersey. Uh, yeah, you could say that, Joe answered slowly. I can't believe it. You guys, we've been playing basketball with a girl, TJ said with disgust. Hey, she may be a girl, but I'd play on her team any time. The kid with the bull jersey approached Joe and gave her a high five. After that, they congratulated Joe and introduced themselves. They even came up with a nickname for her, Jumpin' Joe. In the end, TJ walked up to her and apologized. Sorry, Joe, he whispered. I just never played against a girl before, especially a girl as good as you. I've never seen anyone who can jump like that. You should come and play with us again sometime, but next time, leave the hat at home. Okay, so that's the end of the story. There is a quiz for you to take on Google. It's a Google Forms. It's, on, it's listed on Google Classroom. So it's okay to look back in the book to, uh, for answers uh, when you're taking the quiz. So good luck with that.